Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to generate a data dictionary from an existing schema using a SQL script in SQL Server. Do you need to generate a data dictionary from an existing schema where the schema name, the table name, the ordinal position, the column name, whether or not it's a key, foreign key, primary key, unique key, maybe it's both, the data type, whether or not it's nullable, and really important, the description. As long as it's present in the schema, we can pull it out. Do you want to have all those things automatically generated into a data dictionary from an existing schema and then output that to say Excel or to a text file? Then here's the script for you. First up, a demo for downloading the SQL script. So open a browser and go to GitHub, no www, github.com slash data research labs, all one word, hit enter. And when it comes up, scroll down to the SQL scripts it may bounce around depending on what I've checked in. But find SQL scripts, click that. You could just scroll down and find whatever, find the SQL Server script here and click it. But you can also find the MS SQL and the data dictionary, click those links. And you could download it here, or I'm actually going to click the data dictionary dump and I'm going to click raw. And that's going to bring me to the raw file. And then I can highlight a little bit, control A to select everything, control C to copy it. And there we go. Then I can take that and paste that into Notepad and use it however and wherever I want to. Next up, the demo for generating the data dictionary table. So I've opened up Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio here. And I have the SQL Express demo database adventure works. It's got some tables. It's got some views. And I want to do the data run the data dictionary script on that. So let me drag the data dictionary script over from the last demo that we downloaded. And really the only thing I need to change is right here, use what database? Well, that one, I already have it hooked up. That's all you need to change. You can point it at one database at a time. All the, oh, and you could change this uh, variable. The variables are here. The DB name is just picking this and assigning it to V underscore schema name in the common table expression bars. And then the value no, I could change it to yes and limit to tables only, or I could have it to no, which shows me the views and the tables. That's the parameters you can set. This one here and this one here. And you can go through and look at all the SQL and what it's doing. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I am going to execute the query and look at the results. So there we go, the results are returned. There's the schema name, the table name, alphabetically ordered. The object type, is it a table or is it a view? The ordinal position, column number, natural order. Uh, example over here, ordinal position one, two, three, four. It's just the orders that the columns are in. Keys, is it a primary key, a unique key? Perhaps it's both, a foreign key and a primary key a given column of the given table. There's the column name, the data type, along with the appropriate size, whether or not it's nullable, and the description for the column. So that's all of the information that's dumped out by this data dictionary script. And finally, the demo for output of the data dictionary into Excel. So in SQL Server Management Studio here, I can just control A to select everything, right click, copy with headers, and I can pop up Excel and I'll make it bigger, take up the whole screen. Control V to paste it, highlight everything, double click to auto size, and there we go. And I'm doing more formatting, and I like to do these really light blue. So you can see this table, type is a table, there's all the individual columns. I have white, blue, white, blue, alternating for the fields, and then all the details of the field, and so on. You format it all the way down and make it a nice readable data dictionary object that you can share and email out to people or post online on your internal internet. Thank you for watching and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.